You know, there have been times in my ministry that I've been desperate for a word from the Lord, desperate to hear from Him about something going on at church or about a situation. And in those times, my theology tells me that God hears me. The Word of God reminds me that God cares and that God answers me. But all I seem to be getting is the silence. It's in moments like that that you begin to really question your faith. You can begin to question your call. You can begin to wonder, God, are you really in this? And am I really doing your will? In April of 2019, I started praying that God would give me a vision for Rush Creek. God just impressed upon my heart this idea that call my people to seek my presence, to see my power, and to share my purpose. But I knew in my gut that that was not the long-term vision for the next season that God wanted for Rush Creek. And then you fast forward after the first of the year, I'm now your lead pastor, and 2020 obviously um, is symbolic of vision, 2020 vision, and I thought this is going to be the new vision for Rush Creek, and God gave me nothing. But it was as if God opened my eyes on June 3rd and said, Marty, if I would have given you the vision that I have for Rush Creek, and you would have presented that in January of 2020, just a couple of months later, we find ourselves in March and a huge surprise to everybody. I sat right here in this chair. It was a Wednesday afternoon, June 3rd, and I shut all my lights off in my office and I just got in this chair and I got on my knees and I just said, God, I'm desperate for you. And in that afternoon, in about a period of four hours, God just began to take me to a passage and all of a sudden that passage began to leap off the page. And God, in that four hours on that Wednesday afternoon, gave me the word that he had for Rush Creek for our future. First Kings chapter 18, which is the story of uh, Elijah on Mount Carmel. And if you recall, they've been in this um, terrible drought and famine for about three years. And in chapter 18, verse one, it says, and then after a long time, the word of the Lord came to Elijah and said, prepare the people because I'm sending rain. It was just an incredible reminder that God just, He's got us. And He knows exactly what we need. And better yet, He knows when we need it. And I am so excited to be able to see that God is bringing the rain. God is just opening up our eyes and as, as if He's opened up the skies to pour the, the rain of His Spirit on us for a new day and a new season at Rush Creek.